All right, so in this video, we'll learn what is called as explicit typing, which is also called as type annotation. So type annotation means that we are telling TypeScript what type of value a variable will hold. In order to assign a type to a variable explicitly, we'll add a colon and the type after the variable declaration. So these are some examples. Let person name colon string, let age colon number, let is QA colon boolean. So you might think when we have type inference already in TypeScript, then what we use type annotation for? Here are some use cases wherein this type annotation comes handy. Number one, delayed initialization. Let's take an example of let person name colon string. To start with, I don't have the value that this person name variable is going to hold, but I certainly know the data type of the value that this variable will hold eventually. So meaning we declare a variable on one line, then initialize it later on. If we just declare a variable with no type, TypeScript will give the variable a type of any. This is something we want to avoid. Type any is another topic we'll dive into in a future video. For now, any type basically takes off all benefits offered by TypeScript. Number two, assigning multiple types. In scenarios, we want a variable to accept multiple types of data, and we do so by using the pipe corrector, okay? Like this, okay? We can also say number, we can also say boolean, or so on, okay? Number three, function types. Functions also have type inference, but sometimes the return type is not what we want. Dealing with types in functions is another topic which we'll dive into in a future video. So let us understand what all things we are going to do in this video. So definitely, I mean, we are going to focus on explicit typing this time, which is also called as type annotation. And then I've created two main categories, like primitive data types, which will hold string, number, and boolean. Then I'll have non-primitive data types, which will contain arrays and objects, okay? Then in each of these categories, we'll have two more subcategories, and they are single data type like this and then we have union data type okay and underneath these right you will see what is allowed and what is not allowed but i'll not cover each one of these right because this is very much the same that we have already covered in type inference the only difference is you know in type inference you initialize that value and from that value typescript figure out figures out what is the data type of that variable but in type annotation you are explicitly telling okay that's the only difference so allowed not allowed will remain the same but there are certain things which i'll cover which are not yet covered in the type inference because they are of course specific to explicit typing and hence i did not cover in type inference all right so this is how we create single data type okay and obviously if this is of type string okay so you can assign in a string value right which is allowed but if you assign it any other data type value then you'll get this all right same is the case with age you could see it is allowed okay but what is not allowed is this okay because age accepts only the numeric values right same way is qa is equal to false is allowed because that's a boolean all right but what's not allowed is this right string no all right then we have got the union data type okay how do we declare union data type for primitive data types okay that's very simple we say let something okay and what do we have to do colon all right now we have to say these brackets and I can say string pipe number pipe boolean. Now this something will accept what? It can accept string as well as number and boolean as well. All these are allowed. What is not allowed is it can't accept like you see it can't accept the array. You get this error right. 
undefined array is not assignable type string number and boolean and same way object as well that is not allowed okay again you see the object is not assignable to type this okay now in some cases you will also see that this this thing is not used and that's absolutely fine i mean when you are working with primitive data types so you could also say let's say let nothing okay colon and you can say just string pipe symbol number right so both are correct all right so you can do it like this now let's move on to the non primitive data type which are array and objects and we'll start with single data type now let's see the first case is array how can we declare arrays so we say roots all right and colon let me say it's a string and like this okay so this represents your array okay this represents your array and you mention in the data type before it okay so you say string array so this becomes your string array there's one more representation of this which you can say let's say let cars okay colon and you say array and then in here you pass in the data type okay let's say string and what you can also do is you can initialize it to an empty array and we'll see why i'm doing this same way you can do it for numbers okay so you can say numbers colon whichever format you are comfortable with there is essentially no difference okay so you can do it like this all right now if you push let's say let's run this particular statement okay in the browser and see what will happen so you see that we have declared a fruits array which is of string type okay and then i am pushing all right this value into it all right so unfortunately this will error out and this will say cannot read property push of undefined therefore it is advisable to initially set it to empty array right but what you can still do with this this true type of array is you can you can work with it like this all right but you can't use the push method okay so if we just save it and go to the browser so we'll see cannot read property push of undefined okay so it's a good practice if you want to use these methods right just initialize it to an empty array okay all right then you have seen like what is allowed in case of array all right so you can if it's of string type you can pass in string values you can also update uh, values based on the index but you can only pass in you know string values what's not allowed is you can't push in uh, the numbers right you can't even update any particular index value with a number also like you know uh, since this is of type array so you can't initialize any other data types like numbers and all all right clear is there any difference between this and this particular format meaning like i can use it at a specific place and i can't use the other one or vice versa yes there is a difference so you can say class cars extends when you are extending or write any particular class right then you have to use this particular format all right so this is like array and in these angular brackets this t represents generic we have not covered generic and we are going to create a separate video on that in future but this is the main this is the only difference between uh, this particular syntax and this okay so this one won't work in this particular case okay and extends is used for inheritance okay all right so the next one is object and how do we define object so we say let any obj okay is of type object this is one way by which we can mention that this particular variable is of type object okay another example is we say let person obj is of type now now using this syntax right i can explicitly provide in all the properties and their respective types for example i can say name 
should be of type string and then the other property that this object must have is age type of which should be number okay now you could see what is allowed in this particular case all right any object now this is the thing that we have not covered yet so therefore let's understand these so i'm just uncommenting all these so in here any obj all right so see what are we passing we are passing an object okay like this then can i also pass in like let's start with the basic very basic can i pass in an empty object all right yes i can pass in okay and i can pass in like scale and sqa because in this object you know properties are not fixed right you can pass in any set of properties I mean, for that matter any number of properties so therefore you could see we say any object okay and you say scale typescript sqa false okay earlier it was empty now you have added in these two properties and same way like in the next example i've changed these properties right another thing is because array is also an object in javascript so you can essentially say any obj is equal to empty object okay or you can pass in any values like this all right but in case of person obj right you have to have this structure okay it's mandatory and also the data type of these properties right should match right so therefore you could see we can only do it like this but what's not allowed is because there's an object so you can't set it to any other data type like you know number string and so on same way with person obj we have already seen that there are a lot of restrictions you are abide to follow the uh, the structure as well as you have to meet the you know the number of uh, properties and also the type of these properties all right great so that's about uh, objects let's see now the union data types let's say let mixed one and we can say right so it's an array so it is required for us to do it like this okay this is an array and then we have to pass in the union types in here so we say string number and we say boolean let mixed two okay and we say now array and then we have to do it like this and then i just copy this thing from here and paste it in here okay so this is another way through which you can create union type arrays okay and then as you could see you can pass in uh, the the string value the numeric value as well as the boolean value all right and then you can simply log it to the console so let us see that if i just say console log mixed to all right so you could see we have name number and the boolean great so that's a union type for arrays that's not allowed it's pretty much the same we cover that in type inference as well now object let mixed obj okay is of type let's say you say it's a type object as well as union wise we can say now this follows a particular structure as well okay now let's create one more and let's take it to the next level so we say mixed obj2 okay and now we say let us copy this we say it like this and let me make a change in here so we say skill is of type this and then we say is qa okay and let's change its type to boolean right now see some interesting things would happen okay so when you are saying mixed obj because of this object right we learned that you can pass in any object and that would be considered as a valid entry okay so we see all these things now and let's understand these all right so why this is allowed okay say so mixed object is this right so this particular object does not match the structure of this object but because of this object and you know, this thing is allowed right and next example is we are considering this option all right so either one of these so even this is matching okay so we have skill 
we have SQA name and age. So mix object two can contain all these four properties. Okay, and that's absolutely fine. It can contain two of these, or it can contain all of these properties. All right, so that's that's union of of objects, right? And mix object can be an obviously it can be uh, an array because an array is an also an object. Then it can be an empty object. All right, so mix object two could contain any of the object structure absolutely fine it could also have a union of both of these right so that's that's one interesting thing basically when it comes to union type of objects okay what's not allowed of course because mix object to either this structure has to match or this all right but when you say mix object to and color red obviously this is not matching okay and also like you can't have in any other uh, a property besides these four properties all right and also it will not be allowed so this is about explicit typing with primitive and non-primitive data types and of course we considered both the single data types and the union data types i'll see you in the next video